Hey folks, it's Daff. Welcome to part one of two very different matches with so-called bully squads. Before we start, I just want to mention I love bully squads, or more accurately, interactive gamers. There's nothing toxic about using flashlights, head-on, going for saves, it's fun. And when you know how to handle it, it's actually really fun for the killer too. Flashlights are not toxic, they're fun. But but yes, the, the survivors with GTVs in their names in this match were actually just genuinely toxic people and you'll you'll see that. I have to assume the Ash wasn't with them. I can't imagine that he would ever play with them again if he was. So, uh, all right, every part of this build actually got some value. We have Lethal Pursuer, Save the Best for Last, Corrupt Intervention, and Play the Food for Perks. Walleye's Matchbook, the add-on, decreases Night Shroud recovery time by six seconds. You get to use your power more often after it is turned off, either because you've hit somebody or revealed. Night Vision Monocular. Survivor that reveals Ghostface is inflicted with Exhausted for 10 seconds. You're not trying to mark that injured survivor anyway. Why not use your power, let them reveal you, have them disable their own made for this and dead hard. All right, enjoy the match. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment and stay tuned for part two. Let's go. Not the last second flashlights. I guess the sacrificial cake is acceptable. Feels like it's 2% stingy, but whatever. We got them over there. I find a thingy. Really nice if I could. What is that tile? Apart from really fucked up and messy. Interesting. Okay, so he's exhausted. Was that? Who was looking at me from the, like is that on top of the hill? What the fuck? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm not chasing you in the shack. Of course, it's not a grab. I did get a play food stack that way. Okay. So that's how we're playing this then? Got it. Understood.
Bullshit, is that any kind of angle? Also, uh, apparently it was not an angle. I mean, it was, it was just early and I didn't realize it. That's wild. It was an angle, she just fucked up the timing. Somehow. Just gonna see on this map, yeah, for sure. Sorry, the flashlights and stuff didn't bother me, it was purely uh, at the point where they decided to slam the gen in my face that I got annoyed. Getting hit with a pallet re reset the uh, timer on that? That's interesting. gonna pick up the other one. But that's okay. Because this one dies. I'm trying not to start a chase yet so she doesn't know exactly where I am. an interesting choice. Huh? Uh, 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 
someone's being toxic on the stream right now. Good for them. That's that's pretty silly. Because they're not that impressive. Given that I'm just playing ghosty. There you are. Preemptive dead hard there. And then Fang with the Unbreakable, because of course, I mean, you can't really do this kind of uh, interactive gamer thing without expecting to get slugged, so you know, makes sense. GG's. They are ass and toxic. Yikes. Hey, Tyremon, welcome in. Um, I don't have a hook for you. <laughs> so, yeah. I, already, I know you already used your Unbreakable. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> This trio you played with them earlier? Oh, I see. Thank you for the follow. Were you playing alongside them or as killer? I don't know. I guess I just let you bleed. Can't get you to look. For the survivor, I had to carry them. They flame at the end game because the stream dude died. I wasn't even one that called them toxic. Toxic nasty. You why they're toxic four times. Weird. Oh, I guess, presumably, because someone's watching from this. Wow, that is... That's like when you look into a mirror and there's a mirror behind you. And you just get that long string of things. That would mean that you were over there watching them. And then mentioned here that they were tucked. And then someone was watching here and saw you say that here. And then reported back over there. And then they're asking you over there. That breaks my brain a little bit. They're asking if you are fat and making fun of bodies. Okay. I like lovely people. Um, meeting people like this makes me understand frustrations more because we aren't like this. Yeah, exactly. They're just calling a bunch of shit, but they are toxic in the DVD community sense. Okay. Well, I hope their day gets better. And they're hate watching. Hi. <laughs> no, we don't need to. We don't need to go to that. We don't need to start making fun of other people's looks or anything. I appreciate the the that you guys are on my side, but we also don't need to do that. Or it's all good. I'm already living rent free in their head. Clearly, you're looking up your Insta. Good luck with that. <laughs> Anyways, it was a pretty good ghosting match. Yeah, no, it was. It was a solid, like, casual anti-bully kind of, just casually stomping a bully slot kind of match. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye.